Hello. Hey. How you doing? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So you've got some shoes in the bag, haven't you? Yes. Let's have a look at these shoes. Well, these are the shoes that I had made to measure when I was sprinting in the 1940s. Nice. Nice, yeah? <laughs> okay. yeah? Very nice. So where did you get these made? Well, my parents had them made, actually. Right. Uh, for me. I was uh, 17, and my parents weren't uh, particularly well off. Right. But they insisted on my getting the, the best pair of spikes that I could have. Did you win much? Yes. yes She's I, uh, nodding yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, won the Amateur Athletic Association yeah. 100 yards in 1940. Eight and again in 1949. I did national service. I was posted to Germany and I won the British Army of the Rhine Championship 100. I worked in the civil service for 42 years, represented the civil service, and on one occasion ran against Norris McWhirter, the Guinness Book of Records uh, champion. Did you win? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I beat him. Wearing these, yeah? Wearing these. <laughs> and how many races have you won wearing those? Oh, a dozen, at least. You're just saying a dozen like it's nothing. <laughs> well, oh, a dozen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen the medals and heard the stories, but it's nice to be able to connect the stories with the shoes. And then your connection to the shoes. You're not going to want to wear these, are you? <laughs> no, I don't think I'll fit in them. OK, um, that's cool. Myself and my brother took up athletics because Grandpa was so good at it. It's something special to us because it's like a connection between yeah. us and, and, and Grandad. Thank you both for bringing these in. I know Dean's going to have a bit of a challenge. I can already see it on his face. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye -bye. All right. You Bye. take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 My idea is to use some red leather and hand sew it onto there. Once that's in, I can then turn that and then the upper I can bond onto the other side. To try and keep it original as possible, I've decided to make my own threads. Can't really thread that through the eye of a needle. Before needles were made or invented, they would use a boar's bristle. Boar's bristles are quite hard to get. We now use fishing line because it's more easily accessible. You would wax the ends of your thread and twist them onto the end of your boar's bristle. It can be a little tricky to get started, I make a hole in the base of the thread and I feed the head of the bristle through it. Pull that tight. And that should secure it. I just create a fine point, almost like the head of a needle. And we're ready to sew. So the first one is always tricky. I don't want to make this tear any worse. I think this is an element of my craft that I do enjoy, and I love keeping these ancient skills that were passed down to me alive. So we've got one thread and two bristles. That allows me to do what's called a saddle stitch. If one side of the stitch was to break, the other side would still be intact. The strength it creates can't really be replicated by machines. Now I've got that first stitch in, it's easy to see how that's going to work. This might take a little bit of time, but patience is key with jobs like this. 